Hey guys, Weapon Gaming back with another video today for our Weapon Convergence series, and today we're going to be covering one that I've been holding off on making for quite a while, and that is the SIG MCX LVAW, or the Low Visibility Assault Weapon. This is a variant of the SIG MCX. Uh, prior to the MCX Virtus, there's a couple different variants of the SIG MCX in general. So we're going to go over how to build this, go over different attachments that you can run with this, as well as jump into some gameplay. This is a build that I've been using mostly in Warzone, and this thing is just an animal and rips people apart. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the gameplay for that. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we have our one of our final designs. There's a couple different builds that I run with this that I'll show off here. So here we have our final design. Let me go ahead and back out here. And here is the final weapon. So let me go ahead now and strip this down to the base M13. Now I'm using the tank blueprint. I'll link that video down below as to how you unlock this. This was purchased through the Call of Duty store for COD points. So I'll post that video below. I believe it was 1,000 COD points, I want to say. It could be 1,600. So go ahead and check out that video if you're interested in the blueprint. You can see here you get a different colored lower receiver as well as some other different attachments for the blueprint that are cosmetically changed. So go ahead and check out that video in the description down below. Now back to the low visibility assault weapon for SIG MCX. What we're going to do is for the barrel attachment, we want the Tempest Cyclone. So that's going to be an 11 and a half inch barrel just about in real life for this weapon. So this is going to assist us with sound suppression as well as bullet velocity. The cons being the ADS speed, which we're going to mitigate elsewhere. So we'll go ahead and select the Tempest Cyclone, which is that integral suppressor. So you can see here, since it is an integral suppressor, we don't have an option for a muzzle attachment because we already have the barrel attachment as well as the integral suppressor on the weapon. Now for this build, we're going to skip out on the laser and for the optic, I'm going to go ahead and use the Leopold Hammer Sight or the integral hybrid here. So this is going to give us the reflex and scout toggle as well as a zoom level. So it's a 3.5, 3.25 zoom level with a red dot aperture mounted on top of the site is a Leopold hammer in real life. The con here being the ADS speed, but again, we're going to make up for that elsewhere. So go ahead and select that. This particular build, I'm going to run the base stock as well as no perk. And for the grip, we're going to go with the rubberized grip tape. This is going to assist us with a recoil control and the cons being aiming stability. I find this just gives me a little bit more control to keep my shots on target at range. Now for the ammunition, being that I mainly use this in Warzone, I run a 60 round Stenag mag on this build. You can all, always just run it, if you're running this in multiplayer, run a standard 30 round magazine and use the attachment elsewhere. But for how I've been using this mainly in Warzone, you need the extra ammunition to really down and clean people up as well as multiple teams, which you'll see in the gameplay. So I'm gonna run that 60 round magazine that's gonna obviously double our capacity from 30 rounds of 5.56 to the 60 round magazine and the cons there are going to be the ADS speed as well as the movement speed on the weapon. But really, with the attachments we have on this, you're not going to notice it at all. Now for the under barrel, again, I don't want to take any more reduction to the ADS speed of the weapon. So I'm going to run the commando foregrip. This is going to assist with recoil stabilization as well as the aiming stability. The cons here being just the movement speed. So go ahead and select that. Now that's all of our five attachments for this particular build of the SIG MCX low visibility assault weapon. So this is one of the builds. Now, another build that you can run with this that you'll see me run it in the gameplay here a little bit is going to be to swap out the grip tape and we're gonna put a five milliwatt laser on here. So the five milliwatt laser is gonna assist with hip fire accuracy as well as sprint to fire speed. The con here being the laser is gonna be visible to enemies. But again, if you're cautious about how you use this, it's only visible if you're walking or standing if you're running or adsing it's not going to be visible at all so if you're just standing around or walking just be careful as to where you're pointing the barrel of your gun because that's where the laser is going to be going and the enemies could see that so you'll see uh, a lot of the gameplay when i do use this i'm just pointing it like at the ground or at a door frame that way it's not being exposed through the doorway to the enemies who could possibly see it so if you're cautious about how you use it i think that really helps uh, i i don't typically run the tack laser on this weapon just because that is visible when you ADS and in Warzone, not the best option, but in multiplayer, I would definitely recommend it. That is one of my favorite attachments in multiplayer just to, for weapons that really need the assist to ADS speed, stability, as well as the walking steadiness. It's it's really a, a very good attachment with just the only con being that the laser is visible. So again, that's one that you need, just, you need to be careful about how you run it. So this is the other variant here that you'll see me running in Warzone again, just with that laser, I think aesthetically it looks extremely beautiful with that laser mounted on the front Picatinny rail. So you go ahead and run that one. Another option uh, for ammo types is the SIG MCX low visibility assault weapon does on standard 5.56 as well as 300 blackout rounds. So you can see here, put on the 300 blackout, this would be a good option for multiplayer as well that I've run. Uh, with the attachments here, you're able to mitigate the recoil that comes with the 300 blackout rounds. So you can see the 
Pros and cons here being for the 300 blackout rounds, the damage is increased at range, no visible tracers, as well as no enemy skulls. The cons being bullet velocity and recoil reduction on this weapon. These are subsonic rounds that pack more energy over greater distance. And for some reason, I think this is one of the really good attachments for multiplayer, as well as Warzone. You're able to really down enemies very fast with this, it seems, especially in Warzone. However, I typically lately have been opting just for the 60 round, just for having that extra ammo. There's a lot of situations that you'll see in the gameplay where I absolutely utilize that extra 30 round of 5.56. If I didn't have it, I would definitely be dead. So those are some options there that you can run. Another option is if you want to just remove the 5 milliwatt and throw on a skeleton stock. Again, this is going to really assist just with your aim walking movement speed as well as your ADS speed, the only con being the aim and stability. But again, you can see how aesthetically pleasing that weapon is and how it looks. You can also swap out any other attachment. You could put a five milliwatt on, for example, and we would have a very nice looking, aesthetically pleasing weapon. But again, for the one that I like to run for the SIG MCX low visibility assault weapon, we're gonna go with the base stock, as we said, the 60 round magazine, and then also the rubberized grip tape to, just to give us that extra accuracy a bit of range there. So that's the final design for the SIG MCX LVAW, the low visibility assault weapon. Now go ahead and jump to the gameplay here. You'll be able to see me utilizing this weapon. <clears throat> and I, I really do love running it with this integral hybrid of the Leopold Hammer Sight. A lot of situations, uh, I typically run a DMR build of the M4, which I'll cover at a later date. But a lot of situations, and this is applicable to multiplayer as well, you're doing longer to med medium to longer range engagements that you can really utilize that 3.25 optic on the Hammer Sight. As well as being in close quarters combat, you can utilize that red dot sight as well, which can really come in handy when you don't need that zoom and CQC combat situation. So definitely, I recommend that sight. It is my favorite sight in multiplayer as well as in Warzone, just because of the versatility of the sight itself. So let, go ahead and let me know down below what you think. You'll see the gameplay here is all from Warzone. Again, I have used this in multiplayer a lot, and I do really love it. However, the M13 in multiplayer is just a little bit lackluster given the damage. But it really does redeem itself in Warzone. This is one of the better weapons I think you can run just because of the high rate of fire, especially packing that 60 round magazine. You're going to drop enemies very quickly. So, just some background stats while you're watching this gameplay here. The SIG MCX was put into service in 2015. Through present, there's a couple of different variants which we covered below. I'll try to link all the different M13 builds and videos that we've done in the description here below in the video. But there's the M. SIG MCX, which is the low visibility assault weapon, is one of the variants of that. So within the SIG MCX, there's the standard SIG MCX, the SIG MCX SBR, short barrel rifle, as well as the SIG MCX pistol. And then obviously we have this particular variant here being a low visibility assault weapon, which is a shorter barrel at 11.5 inches, suppressed select fire variants available only to military and law enforcement. And the nickname for this is the Black Mamba, if you were not aware. You can also run this in 5.56 as well as subsonic. 300 blackout rounds as well as well as supersonic like, rounds it does take for this weapon as well oh other variants of the sig mcx are going to be the virtus which the m13 at base is a sig mcx virtus the variants for the virtus come with the virtus patrol the virtus sbr or the short barrel rifle which we have covered on this before as well as the patrol I'll try to link these all these videos down below and there's also a variant called the sig mcx virtus pistol which again is just a shorter nine inch variant of the weapon which can take five or six 545 NATO as well as 300 AAC blackout caliber subsonic rounds. And then there's also one more variant of the SIG MCX, which is the Rattler. This is a five and a half inch barrel. We've done this video again. I'll link this down below. And this comes in 556 by 45 as well as 300 blackout rounds for this weapon as well. So there's also some derivatives of this for the SIG MCX MR, which would take 762 by 51 NATO. This is an unsuccessful. Uh, Entry into the United States Army Compact Semi-Automatic Sniper Rifle Competition, which unfortunately did not make the cut. I believe it was beat out, uh, I want to say, by the MK11 or the SR25. I have to go back and look at that, but we have done those videos before. So I'll link all, all the M13 videos down below. Again, the calibers that the SIG MCX takes in real life to 556 by 45 the 300 blackout barrel lengths, uh, depending for the Virtus... Another one is going to come out Come in 9-inch, 11.5 inches, we're running here with the low visibility assault weapon, as well as 16 inches for a 406 millimeter barrel for typically on the patrol or even the sniper variants of this weapon, which would be the patrol. The muzzle velocity in the MCX typically is going to be 3,000 feet per second or 914 meters per second. Effective firing range 
for the 5.6 by 45 NATO is going to be 1,650 feet or 503 meters. So again, let me know what you think of this weapon. Again, this is very similar to, there's a submachine gun variant of this uh, that this is based off of primarily the SIG MPX, which you remember from previous Call of Duty games. I don't remember in particular which one that's from, but that's a 9mm submachine gun. The SIG MCX here is obviously a, an assault rifle uh, inspired by that SIG MPX submachine gun line. So let me know down below what you think you'll see in the gameplay here. Again, I'm running this on Warzone. I've played around with a lot of different attachments on the M13. I've been running it really for almost all three weeks that the game's been out, playing around with different builds. And right now, this is my favorite. Again, I run an M4 DMR build oh based on the SR25 conversion video that I did, which I'll be doing another video about because that thing is just racks I opt for that over a sniper rifle. But you'll see in the gameplay here that we're just chewing through enemies. There's a couple situations here. I end up at the very end, you'll see me win a game with this, uh, getting, I think, like six or seven kills right in the final two circles. And I'm able to take out enemies at medium to long range as well as close quarters. Uh, they get some enemies in a staircase here and just end up wrecking all three of them. I've killed game, quite dude. a few teams team wiping down, down. with this SIG MCX low visibility assault weapon. So again, let me know down below what you guys think of this particular build. Have you run this? Do you prefer it in multiplayer or maybe perhaps in Warzone? Have you tried it? Let me know what attachments you run on this. If you do run the M13, do you run it like the low visibility assault weapon or some other attachments? I have played around with just about everything, so let me know what you prefer. I'm curious to hear down below. Now, also, just for some other news on the channel, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is supposedly scheduled to release tomorrow, Tuesday the 31st, so we'll be covering that here on the channel. It's supposed to be a very nice Ghost Operator bundle available with the OG M4A1 Carbine from Modern Warfare 2, so we'll get a proper M4 in the game. We'll also go through and do a lot of these single-player campaign missions from Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Just take a look at how that plays out. I did do a playthrough of the actual original Modern Warfare 2 right before this particular Modern Warfare 2019 came out. So it'd be interesting to go back and just play through that with the updated graphics. I'm, I'm really interested to do that and see how nice it looks as well as how the weapons look, the animations. I believe there's a weapon preview animation that was added to this game. So it should be very interesting to see. I'm looking forward to that coming tomorrow, hopefully. Again, I don't know if it's been confirmed yet, but it's been leaked uh, pretty much through and through. So it should be coming tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the gameplay. Let me know down below what you guys think of the SIG MCX LVAW, the low visibility assault weapon from Six Hour USA. And until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out. I did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Bushes, dude. I love it. Uh, yeah, I had no idea where I was. Wow. Hell yeah, brother. That was goofy. What you people do. Yeah, it was. Very nice, very nice. You had two kills. Solid nine kill dub right there. I got all my kills at the end though.